let's try drawing the structure of at a pH of 5. And what was the net charge of that pH? Uh, plus one. Wait, I take that back. No. Hmm. According to yours, it would be. Now, my picture's not done yet. Actually, oh, okay. I just wanted you to check your pictures. Sorry. According to mine, plus one. Okay. So going through that, we have a pH of five. Mm -hmm. That's a low pH relative to this pKa. So this should be broken, please. Well, that's a high pH relative to this pKa, so this is deprotonated. Mm -hmm. And it's a low pH relative to this pKa, so this should be protonated. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this group here. In the table, they showed you this in its neutral form. In the table, they showed us the side chain in the neutral form. All the side chains are shown in their neutral form. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I'm just saying that all, none of the side chains have terms on them. Right. Okay. And we know that the other form is going to have a charge on it. Now, some of the side chains have both a neutral and a negative form, and some of the side chains have both a neutral and a positive form. Mm -hmm. But none of them have neutral, negative, and positive. We have to pick just two of those. Well, is this an acidic or a basic side chain? Basic. Basic, good. So, does it, are its two forms the negative and the neutral, or the positive and the neutral? Right, which is what I think you already figured out. So we're just confirming that what you worked out was good. So now we should, uh, so which form is it going to take at this pH, neutral or positive? Positive. Positive. Now all we have to do is figure out where to protonate. Now here's the difficulty, because there's three different nitrogens. And it seems like theoretically any of those nitrogens could protonate. Well, this is important because if the instructor asks you, as, as he likes to do, to draw arginine at a pH of 5, we have to know which one of these to protonate. Now, why, why are we thinking that we're going to protonate these? Because they have lone pairs. But they all have lone pairs. So how can we figure out which of these nitrogens is really basic? Well, do you remember what type of functional group is this? An amine. An amine. Is this basic? No. Oh, sorry. It is basic and it's This is basic. What type of functional group is this? An amide. An amide. Is this basic? It's not. That's right. But do you remember why? How did we show that the amide is not basic, even though it has a lone pair, just like the amide nitrogen? Oh, 
by using the resonance structure. Yeah, and how does the resonance show that this is not basic? The end ends up with a positive charge. That's right. There's another resonance structure where this has a positive charge. Well, positive things are not bases. Well, then we have to try to draw another resonance structure here. We have to try to draw another resonance structure here to see which of these is going to be basic. So are bases things that tend to have positive charges or negative charges? Negative. So we want to draw another resonance structure to see which of these tend to have positive charges in resonance and which tend to have negative. And we're going to have to use electron pushing arrows to do that. So can you use any electron pushing arrows here? Yeah, we need a little more space. We'll start with the neutral form here and see if we can draw another resonance structure. That's right. And then we have to try to use electron pushing arrows to see. Who's basic? That's very good. Well, based on this resonance structure, which nitrogen would we think might be basic? The, it's not the, one up there. the one with the negative charge. That's right. Wouldn't we think that this would be basic? No. No, because it has a resonance structure with a positive charge. On the other hand, this has a resonance structure with a negative charge, which makes it even more basic than we might have thought. Now, by the same token, there's a resonance structure where there's a positive charge on this nitrogen. Because just like you could kick this lone pair to the left, you could have kicked this lone pair to the right. So there's also a resonance structure where this has a positive charge. So does this seem basic? No. So, it turns, so if we're going to protonate a nitrogen, which nitrogen should we protonate? The top one. I don't think that was your first guess here, although there's no reason that you should have guessed that correctly to start. So yeah. So we're going to have to alter that guess also. I think you might have forgotten to put the initial hydrogen on here as well. So we have to take our time. But now we've learned who the basic nitrogen is in argument. When we looked at the columns, we saw that this, this had a basic side chain because there was a number with a little c next to it. But the table doesn't tell us which nitrogen is the basic one. So we need to either have that memorized or be able to figure it out using resonance, like we just did. So now we can go back and protonate the correct nitrogen here. Because like you figured out, since the pH is low relative to the pKa of 12.5, there should be a protonation. Okay, now this was the neutral form, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you have to do to the neutral form to make it into this? There's still a problem with this picture here. But think about what do you have to do to this neutral form to protonate it? That seemed like a weird question. All I meant was, this is the basic nitrogen, correct? Mm -hmm. In the neutral form, how many hydrogens are there on this nitrogen? Mm 
One. So in the protonated form, how many hydrogens should there be? Two. Two. So what you did is you simply put in the positive charge, but we also have to show the additional hydrogen that's giving it that positive charge. So the correct protonated form would look like this. 